in a vlog, a uh, vlog, and then we're also doing this as a live feed so that you can see everything we answer and then you can rewatch everything again and then we don't have to repeat all your questions again. So I hope you're enjoying this. We're by the beach today with Natasha, so we're taking a bit of kind of a break. <laughs> and so we're going to answer most or some of your questions as we can and then we'll post it again on YouTube. So we hope you enjoy. So there's some about strengthening and then one says, um, could you share some of your favorite strengthening exercises? Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, oh. wait. <laughs> wait <she's laughs> Hi guys. By the way, this is Lena of Dance by Lena Dancewear and um, Dance by Lena if you want to follow her account. So we're by the yeah. beach today. I can show you some of the beach views first. So this is where we are. And the mango oh my, I really and did yeah. that. <laughs> for a live audience. Yes. yes, for a live audience. So now you're gonna get famous. Yes. Insta famous. I'm gonna get Mikhail. casted as <laughs> Okay, we'll continue. Okay, we'll continue. Okay, Are we okay? Okay. No, do Okay. So we'll continue with, with some of our questions. So could you share some of your favorite exercises for strengthening? So there's some here about strengthening and back strengthening. So any okay. tips? So for strengthening, um, what I do is in general a lot of abs. So for the back actually, that, and also Pilates in general is really good. Like if you find a Pilates teacher that you can go to at least a few times or once a week already would make a big change. But then there's also exercises I do every morning by myself. Like for the ankles, I do some kind of like one leg squat kind of things or like releves a lot so that I would strengthen my ankles. And then I'll do some like back exercises where I would just like lie on my stomach and like lift my back and my legs and try to like make some beats and stuff. So if you do this every morning or like, I think if you feel your muscles working, you will know that the exercise is right for you. So you can just do like your daily exercises, but if you find some Pilates, gyrotonic, something that you can do additional, that always helps. Yeah. How can I improve my arch? I've been doing ballet for four years and they're not arching even a bit. I think <laughs> some people have like natural arches. I mean, you can always try to stretch them, but it will always uh, stay like uh, not such a big difference, but it's import important to work on just like pointing your toes. So even if you don't have like natural arches, if you always point them, no one will be bothered by it because it's just important that they're like constantly working. So I've seen a lot of people who are not having natural arches, but they do such amazing footwork that it's almost, or it is more beautiful than someone who has crazy feet but doesn't know how to use them. There's a lot of questions about turnout. One is, can we have help with turnout? How do you build more turnout? And tips for turnout. Yeah, so there. I mean, yeah, like mm. at the bar it's really important. I think that's like the base where you really have to work on your turnout for every exercise. There's a lot of turnout exercises. It's a bit tricky, but you can like work on them. I recently discovered these like two turning boards. You oh can yeah, put, yeah. Like you put your foot and, then and you can, can go into like fourth position and then turn back and fourth you can try to stay and roll away and this really works better than if you do it without. So like, yeah, you like could a teacher feel like in with New your... York like introduced me to this and it's it's really amazing. I think I've seen that also in Italy. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna order some now. Yeah, <laughs> this board, the board. It's, it's pretty Maybe amazing. We should make some. Yeah, <laughs> like a board that oh, turns. Yes. Yeah, that would be really good. How tall are you, and what's it like in the company? I'm. I don't know what where you're from, but we have centimeters. <laughs> so I'm 165 centimeters. Like five four, right? Yeah, five, some three. I yeah, think it's five like four. That. Yeah. So and how's life in the company? I mean, every company is very different. I in Vienna, I think we usually have a really good atmosphere. We have a lot of young people. We're trying to support each other. We I have my best friends in the company, so I'm really lucky for that. I don't think it's common in every company. But yeah, it's. It's good. I mean, it's different than school for sure. You have a lot of work. Sometimes um, you don't have time. You need to do a lot of personal work because you will just like ha 
have a week and then you have to be on stage so, so you have to be ready maybe you have to work by yourself so that's important that you have like the right spirit uh, tips for high adagio or how to get higher legs in adagio and um, well mostly about just adagio <laughs> okay so, um, it's um, well you can stretch yeah. always which is never a bad thing but for adagio I think it's for example like lifting your leg you can like lift your knee and then try to keep the knee and just stretch the leg like things like this like you work the muscles in the right way also has to be turned out the, the problem is when you just try to lift it and you like your hip is not really placed that's when it can happen that you work the wrong muscles and it won't really improve yeah okay oh, this is nice is there any step that you struggled a lot in the past with um, I what I love most is being on stage and sharing my passion and like with the audience and everything so that's what I really love about this job like once you come on stage and you just forget everything and you really enjoy what I struggled with in the past but I still struggle with it actually <laughs> it's like hopping some point because I have really flexible feet so it's better now, but it's uh, it's never going to be easy. Like, doesn't matter how long yeah. I will try. <laughs> it's quite hard to hop on point, yeah. Uh, how to cope with stage fright and nerves? For, yeah, I think everyone's different. It's hard for me, for example, I'm not nervous once I'm on stage. I sometimes get a bit nervous right before. What I do is like I try to like stripe out the bad energy and I just think once I'm on stage, I'm not gonna have the same feeling, so I'm just gonna try to like not think. And once I'm on stage, I just enjoy it because there's nothing you can do anymore. And we don't do surgeries on open heart, so <laughs> there's nothing yeah. that can happen. So, but. what would you recommend to overcome rejection from your dream schools? <laughs> I mean, you can, depends on the school, maybe you can work hard, try again find another dream school there's so many amazing schools yeah, out sure. there and maybe in the end you can think also that maybe it's your dream school but maybe the school is not right for you too so it's that's not, true yeah. yeah there's a lot of places guys yeah don't limit yourself to yeah. like just one the ballet place. world is so big nowadays yeah. what are some good snacks for between classes or rehearsals i guess like what you usually have um it's like fruits and stuff bananas um, if you really have like tough rehearsals, like nuts, also, I really like nuts too. But the like better things are maybe like yeah, bananas. I love apples, but maybe yeah. And mangoes. Yeah, <laughs> actually all kinds of fruits. Like you can maybe pre-cut some, or even make yourself a smoothie. You can drink something like this. Yeah. Let's read this one. It says, "What are some people misunderstand about ballerinas, you and like you them. would like them to know?" understand about ballerinas um, that I mean I think there's a lot of ballerinas so everyone's very different so there can be different misunderstandings <laughs> like some can be very maybe up nose or something yeah. but then maybe it's not a misunderstanding yeah. I don't know how to I say know. well I hope that answered your question Amora um, what haven't we answered? Have you done Pri de la We answered that, right? No, yeah, no she have. hasn't done Pri de la I would have loved to. <laughs> and uh, how do you strengthen your ankles? So, yeah, That's like, what I said. Yeah, you did that yeah, before. Yeah, but also like uh, you can use a Taraband. There's great exercises. You can just look it up. I mean, there's hundreds of people yeah. I think, who showed some exercises. And they're all good. So yeah. there's... And then this one says, uh, how can I have a good fifth position? That depends a lot on the turnout, I think, also. Like, you have to really work with the rotation of your hips and really, like, stick to it. Like, try yeah. to do it correctly. I think your teacher will also tell you. I think this is, like, mostly all. Uh, some are compliments. Like, you're my favorite ballerina. So amazing to watch. So sweet. <laughs> um, oh, this one. Last one, maybe. Uh, how to improve turns and what to pay attention to. So actually one of my favorite teachers also, she is from Balance and Trust, mm -hmm. she would always tell us that the head is the heaviest part of your body okay. because it's like well, five kilos or something. Mm -hmm. So if you have your head down or back or something, it will pull your whole balance off. Okay. 
So it's important to really have like the right uh, look. You have to really spot because if you don't spot, you're just gonna lose yourself. Um, the arms also like like from the fore, for example, you shouldn't um, the front leg. Don't twist it. It's not gonna help. Like we always think it's gonna help, but it doesn't. You really just have to go in a deep the air and just go on half point. Don't jump. Try to have strong arms to support you. The back don't arch too much. Like really have a really correct position. Yeah. <laughs> that should be good. Yeah. There's a lot of corrections that are really individually. For yeah, turn, definitely. So yeah. It's hard say. for us to answer them, but and I hope that we did answer uh, some of your questions. We'll try to answer these ones. I started ballet at five, but it never. I what? I never worked hard until 13. Is it possible for me to become professional? Are you still 13? If, yeah, if you're I still think, 13, I think you you're okay. Then you have a time, yeah. yeah. If you have you, a lot of time. If you yeah. work hard now, like, I know people who yeah. started later than that and who became incredible dancers. Yeah. So um, if you're just passionate and keep going. Is that there's a famous dancer who started at like 14 or something. I even have a yeah. guy in the company, I think he started at 16. Yeah. He's really good. So if you work hard, you'll be all good. <laughs> and um, here, I'm insecure about my feet because I can just point it so far that it's a straight line with my leg. Is that a hindrance for my dancer? No, like you really, if you work on it, like as I said earlier, like try to roll through like demi point and stuff, like it can be so beautiful, like it doesn't matter of the line of your feet, like it's just about the footwork, like there's so many dancers I've seen, I was so amazed of how they use their feet and not because they have nice feet. Not everyone has like the gift of like perfect arches yeah. anyway, so just make do with what you have all the time. Yeah, it's yeah. not and the hit. Yes. Like just work on your strength and everything. Should be fine guys. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to post this up. Like we'll probably end it here because we're on our, our mini beach trip. But we're going to post this on um, on our YouTube page, so that's Dance by Lina Dancewear. So don't forget to follow Dance by Lina Dancewear, of course. Ms. Natasha, thank you so much for doing this with us and to for the love of Vaganova for allowing us to take over this account. Thank you so much for always supporting us and our cause and our brand, to always spread love and to always spread like good energy with everyone. Positive vibes. Yes, positive vibes. And if you have any questions, you can always text me or I'm yeah, sure too. Just message any of us and yeah. we'll figure something out if you want to have class or anything like that or ask anything under the sun. Just let us know. So don't forget, we'll be posting this on YouTube for you guys to see again so you can re-watch this as well as live here. We'll keep it on the account for you guys. Okay? Alright. Thank you. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>